Let's look after this example. So the pendulum uh, like this is in different position. So if you would like to determine uh, the speed at different position, how can you determine this part? By using the uh, energy, uh, conservative energy system. Here, if you look after this as a whole system, you can see from the first position, it may have no velocity here, but you will have the maximum velocity at the position B. And when it's moved past to this point, all the uh, kinetic energy used up, so you will have the potential energy at this position. So here you have U, G, and U, G over here, and no kinetic energy at this point. But this case, you have no potential energy if you use this position as your reference. Hmm. Now, if you would like to determine the speed from A to B point, at B point, what is the speed if you want to determine it? So this is kind of like Vmax that we have in here. So look after this. This is kind of like an isolated system. If you look with the ball and the earth interaction. But remember, if you look only the ball, it can be non-isolated system. Somehow I will say that I would prefer to look this at isolated system. Because it can be easier in the term of calculation. So if it's isolated, the sigma E from A is equal to sigma E from B. What you have in A position, you have potential energy that equal to the B part, which is you have uh, the kinetic energy. In this term, you have uh, mgh dot. I will represent h dot because I will determine this part as a h dot. And equal to kinetic energy, which is 1 over 2 mv max that you find here, square. The h dot here, you can see if this string is like L, so your h dot is L minus L cos theta A. Since this L and you have theta A here to uh, project the components toward the angle, this is cos theta. This is why you got this height as L cos theta. So you got H that already, so now you can combine all the things that you know, like V max square is equal to, uh, M, get rid of each order, uh, 2G H that, which is now L minus L cos theta A. This is how you determine uh, speed. If you would like to find the speed, which is V max, is a square root of 2G L1 minus cos theta A. In meter per second. If you would like to find the tension, which is uh, in the card B here. So now we have to determine the system, not the whole system. So as we did in the previous uh, example, so now you will have only a B here. So now you, rather than you have the isolated system, this non-isolated system. You can use the work and energy or you can use the Newton for uh, solving this problem, this depends. If you look after uh, Newton, like a free body diagram here at B position, so you have mass and by with the string. So looking at the mass, you have tension upward. You also have the MG pointing downward, right? While object moving in this direction. So this is kind of like a circular motion. 
we did learn about this motion. Since as this case, the acceleration uh, is pointing uh, upward toward the central position. So if you look after Newton here, so what you will see, you will see uh, T minus mg equal to mac, which is mv square over r. Right. With this relation, you will determine the uh, tension that happened. So by this, at this part or at the position B, if you redetermine the tension, so what you see, you see the tension is equal to uh, mv square over r plus mg. And also in this case like m v square over r plus g. This is the tension of the chord B that you have. And what is happening in R here is the L is displacement. Uh with this thing length, sorry. So you got m v square over L plus G. And this is the tension at the B position. So let's look after this problem and we will use the uh, isolate system or non isolate system to determine the system here. So now, if you look after the whole scheme that happened in this problem, what is happened here, like uh, the bullet has been triggered out from this launching mach machine. So the mechanic is you have the compression from the spring. This is the spring compression. And when you trigger it, the spring release from this A position. I will use this as the reference position. When it releases up as this position, uh, energy uh, transfer so it has an uh, initial velocity and at the final point uh, at the C position we should uh, the maximum position here so this is what we learn from the linear motion or the free falling if the V equal to zeros this is the maximum height right so from this part, if we ne neglect things, the resisting force, maybe some like uh, air resistance, so we ignore this part. So now we will consider only in the ideal condition. So we would like to determine the spring constant. How can we find it? So if you look after thing from A to C, so the whole system is like the isolate system. Mm -hmm. From now on, you you determine from A position what you only have all energy store in term of the elastic uh, spring potential. So that in this position, uh, you got the sigma E1 equal to sigma E2. This is due to the conservation of energy. Mm -hmm. So in this case, from the position one, which is your position A to position C, you get the information of the spring as one over two kx square. So there's no initial velocity from this point and also no height. So the only the spring uh, elastic potential. So from the point position C, what you get at that position, there's no uh, terminal velocities. That means there's no kinetics energy. So only have here is only the uh, potential energy, mgh. And this h, as you can compare, if you have the reference A as the initial position, that means you have uh, MGH is your XC minus XA. And 
what you get here, you can sub for further information. If you would like to determine K, you can find K equal to uh, 2 mg h over x square of xc minus xa. Since this x square is your xa because it's due to the compression from this position to this position, that means uh, this is supposed to be your, according to this diagram, xb minus xa square. You can sub the value finally, don't worry about it. So I will sub for finding the Km is 35 gram, uh, G is 9.8, and H, we should uh, sub this in already, is Xc minus Xa. So you got 20 minus, and Xa here is zeros. We should, I think it is slightly wrong here. So this is supposed to be zero position and this is uh, minus 0 0.120, if you say so. Because it's been compressed down and you see XA is like this. So this is minus 0 0.120. You got the zero minus of minus 0 0.12 and you square it up. So finally, you will use the calculator and find the spring constant as 958 in Newton per meter. Because uh, F equal to Kx, K is F over X. So the unit is Newton per meter. Now we look into the sub question B. So if the figure, now I read it figure, and you will see the position of A is according to this one, but maybe it's uh, a typo. So this is now XA, this is XB, and this is XC related to uh, the state problem. But however, if you think this is as a Y position, it doesn't matter, it's all happened in one dimension. Now we would like to determine the velocity at B point. So if I consider from point A to point B, and now I have this as my reference. So what is happened here is happened in isolated system. Mm -hmm. As this system, you can use the uh, conservation of energy, right? From this part, your E1 is from A position and your E2 is from B position. So what you have in the A is solely due to the elastic potential energy. But from this part, you have both kinetic energy and the gravitational potential energy. So from this relation, you have the elastic potential energy equal to the kinetics energy at point B plus potential energy as point B as well. This is at point A. So you have one over two Kx square equal to this term, which is uh, the K is one over two mv square plus mgh. And if you would like to determine the, uh, in this case, the speed of this motion, so you have to rearrange to get the v uh, for the quantification. So I will do arrange the term first. So you get uh, 1 over 2 kx square minus mgh that equal to 1 over 2 mv square. So now you get v square equal to uh, 2 over m of 1 over 2 kx square and minus with mgh. So now this term you can use for determine the velocity. If you sub the v equal to 
uh, square root to m which is the mass of the bullet so 35 10 to minus 3 this is your 2 over m and multiply with 1 over 2 k which is the spring constant which is here you previously determined the spring constant already right and you know that this is uh, 958 is the spring constant since previously we find this is the spring constant and x square x is the compression distance so now you get uh, 0.12 square here and minus with m with the mass of the bullet g is 9.8 and h is this distance right you have the final position is zero and minus with uh, this point so that you get 1.28 as your h and all these under the square root uh, this part so I don't have any rulers already for the uh, not very good in writings so after you sub all these and do calculation finally you will find the terminal velocity here or Vb equal to uh, Vb equal to the final value which is uh, 19.8 19.8 meter per second this is your terminal velocity at position B.